I was always under the assumption that the only thing that mattered when calculating how many fame credits you needed to level a node to the next level was the amount of fame that it took to get to the next level. And while that is true, there's actually another factor. So for weapons here, I always thought it was a two to one ratio, which it is for weapons. If, if it takes around 400k fame to get to the next level, it's going to take around 200k fame credits. So two to one ratio. However, chess pieces have a four to one ratio. So if I try to level up this chess piece to the next level, 300k fame, it's only 76k landing points, so four to one ratio. Helmets and shoes or are double that at an 8 to 1 ratio. It only takes 40k to get 300k fame. And offhands, offhands are sitting, let's see if I can find an offhand here, at a whopping, get this, 40 to 1 ratio. So if you're trying to min-max your, like, fame credits to fame, like trying to get the most fame to fame credits, it's best to start with offhands, and then helmets and shoes, and then chess pieces, and then weapons. And just as an extra note here, the same thing applies to learning points. Although offhands don't have quite as crazy of a value, but if you compare, say, these are both level 67 here, chess piece, it takes 16 learning points to get to the next level. A helmet will only take 8 learning points to get to the next level. And a weapon that's at a very similar level will take 32 learning points to get to the next level.